Hello everyone. So today I hope you all are ready to listen to a comparison between direct to garment printing and dye sublimation, which are two different printing methods. Now, just to disclaim it for all of you, this presentation is intended to inform you or provide you details about which printing method to go for, depending on your business model. So, there are several printing methods to print on textiles or fabrics, and these are digital printing methods. Both methods can actually work in parallel, and they are also meant for different applications. Now, what we meant about the different applications on the previous slide is that when you decide on purchasing a printer, you obviously need to examine your needs, applications, and targeted market. Basically, the major difference is the type of material you can print on. We'll proceed to tell you the basics. Direct-to-garment or DTG, a recent method of printing where your artwork is directly printed onto the garment. You just need to have a computer in order to have it printed on the DTG printer. You can print whatever designs you can think of directly onto the garment. Moving on, regarding the materials, you can print on dark or light colored t-shirts, cushions, jeans, or any 100% cotton, or a blend of cotton and polyester. But then, as the development of the printers and inks advances, the direct-to-garment printers are becoming more suitable to print on polyester as well as synthetics. Take note that direct-to-garment printers uses a water-based CMYK, which stands for the colors cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and white pigment ink. So these inks can print on light color garments as well as dark ones. Now, we're going to talk about the process of DTG printing. First is to design your artwork from any imaging software, followed by using the RIP software. Now, the RIP software is basically the software you use to determine the quality settings you prefer that will be printed onto your garment. So the settings could be on a draft mode for higher production or on a higher quality resolution to get an excellent printout quality. It is your choice to either compromise high quality or time and money. This software can also determine how much the print settings will actually cost you. Continuing to the second step is loading your garment onto the DTG printer and going ahead with the printing using CMYK ink on light garment, whereas for the dark garments, white ink prints as an underbase layer, then the CMYK inks. In this case for dark garments, it's recommended to pre-treat the dark garments so the garments will be prepared for printing. Now the last step is heat pressing. It's pretty simple. You just proceed to heat press the garment for about 60 seconds to cure the inks or you may also use tunnel dryers. Proceeding to dye sublimation. Dye sublimation printing is also a digital printing technology that uses full color artwork which will work with polyester and polymer coated substrates. But in this method, you need to print on transfer paper, then sublimate the inks printed on the transfer paper to the fabric. So basically, it's a two-step process. Now in dye sublimation, the material that is ideally used is a white 100% polyester or a blend with cotton. Such the ones you see on sportswear or on fashion. Also, you could print on polymer coated hard surfaces. So dye sublimation actually uses CMYK dye sublimation inks that can print on white and light colored textiles. Now, the dye sublimation process is similar to the DTG printing process. First is to design your artwork and open it on the RIP software. Second, you go on ahead and print your design on the transfer sublimation paper. You can control the setting and the quality as similar to DTG. And lastly, you sublimate by using a flat heat press like Express M110 or a roll-to-roll -roll calendar like the Therm TX44. So the image will be transferred from the paper to the fabric. Now, this is the calendar heat press that does roll-to-roll, sheet-to-roll, and sheet-to-sheet. These are the manual heat presses, which you can use for textile and hard surfaces, unlike the calendar where you are unable to do hard surfaces. The next one is also a flat bed heat press, although this one functions automatically for higher production. And then the last one is the mug heat press, which only applies to mug. So we're going to discuss the pros and cons of DTG printing. First on the list of pros is print on cotton. Basically, everyone likes to wear cotton because it is comfortable and smooth when you wear it. Unlike sublimation, which is not an ideal solution to print on cotton. So the DTG printing method is pretty simple. You can literally print any sort of artwork or design you prefer on your shirt, which is the second advantage. This relates to the third and fourth point, which is quick and easy, as well as small working area. Because in a matter of few clicks, you get your designs printed on a shirt in a small space. The size of the DTG printer doesn't really eat up all of your working space. 
You can have it even placed in your living room if you like working at home. We actually do have customers that have DTG printing set up in their bedroom even. For the fifth point, which is good color pop on print, which you can see colors immediately after printing, unlike sublimation where the colors would be pale on the transfer paper until sublimated to the fabric. And then the last point is that the inks used by DTG are actually eco-friendly and it doesn't give out any waste and there are some machines and inks that comes with green certificates. Going to the cons department, it is not actually an industrial solution for polyester fabrics because pigment ink will not stick properly on 100% polyester, although DTG technology is developing. Next is the print durability or washability that leads roughly up to 60 washes. Next point, the pre-treatment for dark garments. It acts as a primer and allows the white ink to be printed on the t-shirt. Thus, when the CMYK inks prints next, the colors would have a vibrant outcome and also making the white ink dry and washable. But the pre-treatment process must be done properly and this added step is not included in the sublimation process because of the different inks. Now the last point is the wet prints because after the printing stage is done, the ink sitting on the garment is gonna be wet, thus proceeding to the heat press or tunnel dryers to cure the inks. The pros and cons for dye sublimation. First is the vibrant tones, meaning the end result of the printouts are vibrant and some of the colors you cannot actually get it using the DTG. Followed by that is the easily customized design, similar to the DTG. Now, the print durability is indefinite when sublimated onto the textile. Thus, the washability is lifetime. It will not fade because it dyes the fabric. The printing process is simple and straightforward, making it a clean process. One of the good advantages of dye transfer sublimation is that pre-treatment is not needed as the textile used is ideally polyester. The materials used does not necessarily have to be fabrics. You may sublimate on hard surfaces like ceramic mugs, accessories, keychains, and much more. But make sure these hard materials are coated for sublimation. The cons of the dye sublimation is that you mainly sublimate on light color substrates due to the fact that there is no white ink. On the next point, sublimation is not an ideal solution for cotton, unlike in DTG. The last disadvantage is the dye sublimation only giving a color pop after transfer. Basically, the colors on the sublimation paper does not show its exact vibrant color until you heat press it onto the substrate. So, as mentioned about printing using DTG, pre-treatment is essential on dark colored garments. Pre-treatment can be used manually by spray. However, that does not really give an even distribution on the garment. Thus, the pre-treatment machine is used for a faster pre-treatment process, consistent pre-treatment on the shirt, thus improving the efficiency of working on DTG printing. In relation to that, using the pre-treatment machine also reduces the wastage of spraying the pre-treatment onto the garment. Operating the pre-treatment machine is pretty simple. It functions efficiently and sprays evenly onto the garment, which makes you have a perfect pre-treatment every time and thus printing good quality t-shirts. To conclude, both printing methods cannot replace each other. As I said from the beginning of the presentation, it actually depends on your targeted market and applications in your business model. So DTG is the ideal solution for printing on demand projects or customized design, which makes it fast, easy, and prints on cotton t-shirts. On the other hand, dye sublimation is the ideal solution for polyester and polymer coated products. Whew. That was a lot of info. So I hope this presentation answered all your questions regarding on which printing method is most applicable to your business model. Please do not hesitate to contact us for any information or visit our website www.textgraph.com.